Grabbing a cab is an old-fashioned way of commuting now, while you can catch a taxi which could fly you to your destination. Yes, flying taxis are future now. We are going to show you some of the fascinating flying taxis. But before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe us. Also, press bell icon for more updates from us. Why not bypass the whole traffic and jump in your two-seat vertical takeoff, the Lilium. Founded in 2015 in Germany, the company says it has flown and proven their initial concept with a successful full-scale prototype on 20th April 2017. Combining the vertical takeoff capabilities of helicopter and the cruising ability of a fixed-wing aircraft. The Lilium jet aims to be significantly quieter than other VTOL vehicles. With a pilot's license requiring just a minimum of 20 hours of training. The new craft is designed to be a good deal safer than a helicopter and with intelligent computer control for automatic takeoff and landing. Initially, the Lilium would be only allowed to fly from designated airfields. However, the ultimate goal is for it to be able to take off vertically from just about any open flat space, just larger than 15 by 15 meters, such as a large garden. Once airborne, the Lilium jet will turn its engines into a rear-facing position to propel it like a fixed-wing aircraft to cruise it at speed of around 300 km per hour and to travel up to a claim distance of 500 km on a single charge. Top speed is aimed at around 400 km per hour. Now Lilium has secured a funding of 90 million to start an all-electric five-seater taxi service between Manhattan and JFK Airport in New York. This distance will take only 5 minutes to cover and you will be able to call this air taxi through your mobile phones. And then have the autonomous software take care of the actual flying. Meet this short-range pilotless aircraft, the passenger drone. The aircraft is built from the carbon fiber composite and features a total of 16 rotors, each powered by its own electric motor. There is also a joystick to be flown manually and two passenger seats one behind the other. The flying range of taxi is 30 to 35 minutes with the speed of 34 to 40 miles per hour. Like all VTOL projects, there is obviously a way to go before the passenger drone enters, not just in terms of proving the technology, but also in getting the all clear from lawmakers to allow it to fly around the cities. If there is one place on earth that seems set to adopt innovative transport solutions, then that place is Dubai. The city will soon see an 18-rotor electric copter as the part of its first real-world test run. Meet the Volocopter. Launched in Germany in 2013, the Volocopter is an all-electric aircraft that can autonomously carry two passengers without a pilot. Powered by nine swappable batteries, it lifts off and lands vertically can hover in the air and packs a parachute in case of emergency. It can fly for around 30 minutes at a time with a top speed of 100 km per hour. Dubai is referring to it as the autonomous air taxi and will begin trial operations soon. By the year 2030, it will plan to have 25% of all passenger travel handled by Volocopter. Meet Joby Aviation's all-electric air taxi. Joby's multi-rotor convertible aircraft uses a sophisticated custom-designed tilt system that points the rotor upwards for vertical takeoff and landing, but rotates them forward for low-energy forward flight as a winged aircraft. The convenience of a VDOL, the huge hourly flight cost reduction of electric powertrains, plus the range advantage of a fixed wing is a compelling concept, just like the other air taxi's concept. 
concept, Joby hopes to cut down on traffic and pollution in urban centers and offer a faster, cleaner and safer way to travel. This five-seater aircraft will fly more than 240 kilometers on each charge, travel faster than existing rotorcraft and be 100 times quieter than conventional aircraft. China's Ehang presented its taxi drone in CES in 2016. Made the Ehang Air Taxi, crafted from a carbon fiber and epoxy composite with an aluminum alloy frame. The Ehang's top speed is listed as 130 km per hour. Ehang says its aircraft can fly at this speed for 25 minutes at a time following a one-hour recharge of its electric motors and that it can withstand seven typhoon winds. The aircraft is shown working in some testing conditions, including heavy fog and what it claimed to be a 4-7 typhoon. It can also be seen flying at night, climbing to an altitude of 1,000 feet and completing a long-range flight of 8.8 .8 kilometers. The company does say it has covered a distance of 15 kilometers previously and will be ready to fly with passengers soon in near future. The company has dropped into CES in Las Vegas with a flying taxi cabin design that it says demonstrates its vision for on-demand aircraft that can carry people over urban centers. Meet the Bell Air Taxi. Bell says a control center inside will allow users to do things like catch up on the news, hold conference calls, and share documents. Although only the cabin design is on display to keep focus on the passenger experience, the company is working on a complete air taxi to go with it. Featuring rotors and an electric powertrain, Bell says it will reveal the vehicle in full very soon in the future. Let's meet City Airbus, a vehicle designed to autonomously carry passengers around urban areas. City Airbus would enter service as a regular piloted helicopter. It would then switch to an autonomous aircraft further down the track, as regulations allow. This battery-powered VDOL aircraft is designed to carry up to four passengers and is powered by 800 kW electric motors with eight fixed-pitch propellers for a speed of 120 km per hour. So, after finishing testing flights, soon in future it will fly. Here comes the Wahana, Airbus aircraft which seems like a sci-fi idea. Single passenger self-piloted electric VDOL aircraft. This test aircraft measured 18.7 feet long, 20.3 feet wide and 9.2 feet high and has a takeoff weight of 745 kilograms. The next stage for testing will involve transition from vertical to forward flight. There are many hurdles both technically and regulatory. But the pace of development seen in the Vahana is truly startling and we hope that it will fly our passengers very soon. First emerged at the Paris Air Show and now the stage is set for its big debut. The two-seat octocopter is preparing to make its first test flight after receiving official approval from the authorities at the CES in Las Vegas. Meet the workhorse Surefly. Its first models will be pilot operated by the way of a joystick controller. Hybrid Surefly brings petrol into the mix for a range of approximately 112 kilometers. It relies on a total of eight contra-rotating propellers. It relies on a total of eight contra-rotating propellers, fixed to four arms to lift a maximum of 180 kilograms. The company is hoping to receive full FAA approval in 2019. So how all of this translates to a near-future flying taxi, we will wait and watch. Here comes the Airspace X's subscale model of its vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. 
the Moby One, an autonomous tilt-wing electric aircraft designed to carry passengers and cargo at the speed of up to 400 km per hour. Designed and built by Airspace X's parent company, Detroit Aircraft Corporation, Moby One is targeted at the pine-to-pine -pine commuter market as a clean, quiet alternative to road transport that relies on two lean automotive design and mass production techniques to be affordable to produce. Moby One uses four-wing mounted electric motors that make makes the aircraft quieter than a helicopter. It's a design to carry two to four passengers or payload of over 200 kilograms at a speed of 241 kilometers per hour or a range of 104 kilometers. Along with its pilot assistance and autonomous flight modes, it also has a broadband connectivity for a high-speed intranet, V2X collision avoidance and safety messaging. Aside from passengers and cargo services, it can also be used for medical and casual evacuation, tactical intelligence, surveillance and research flights. If you love to watch videos like this one, then comment, give us thumbs up and press bell icon for more updates from us. Thanks for watching.